welcome to another jewelry making video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net. You may have thought that stretch bracelets were kids stuff and necessarily simple, but today I'm going to show you that by your choice of materials, you can actually make one that's quite elegant. So to make this bracelet, you will need some beads. Here I have six millimeter glass pearls and also six millimeter bicone crystals and four millimeter antique gold plated spacers. But what really makes this bracelet possible are these findings. These are three hole spacers. And if I turn it to the side, you can see it looks like three large bead spacers all connected together. These are six millimeters by 20 millimeters and you'll need anywhere from three to seven of these. However many you have, I have four, so I'm using four. Um, you can use as many as you want. You'll also need some stretch elastic, and then handy tools to have are scissors, some super glue for finishing our ends, and a sharpie. And if you have them, some of these little bead bugs are fantastic for holding the ends so beads don't fall off. The first step that we'll need to take is to figure out how to space your spacers. And I'm going to just bring in a calculator and do a little bit of math here. I've decided that I want my bracelet to be seven and a half inches, so I'm going to divide that by two, and that's three and three quarter inches. So I'm going to put a spacer right at zero on my ruler, and then another one centered over three and three quarters. Then divide three and three quarters by two again, and you get one and seven eighths. So I'm going to put another spacer at one and seven eighths and then add in your center measurement three and three quarters and that's five and five eighths so the last spacer is going at five and five eighths but do the math that you need to do on yours depending on how many spacers you have and, and then you could start laying out your pieces and I took a little time earlier and discovered if I did three pearls and two crystals each separated by a spacer it worked out just about right. So then it's just a matter of stringing your beads onto your elastic. Now this one I've cut off so that I could show it to you but I highly recommend just leave your elastic right on the spool then you don't have to worry about losing things. Use that sharpie to color the end of your elastic so that you can easily see it to do the stringing. And then just go ahead and start stringing. So if I were to continue on with this one, I would put in one hole of my spacer and then repeat this pattern. What lends to the elegance of this bracelet a couple things. First of all, it's the very simple static repetition of the pattern that gives it its elegance and also it's the simplicity, the paring down of the color choices. I mean really it's, it's very monochromatic and that is often an elegant look. The, um, these four millimeter spacers and the three hole spacers are both antique gold plated and then the only other color is this kind of champagne gold pearl and clear crystal. So here you can see I've strung on one strand of my beads and it's worked out to just about oh, just a smidge over seven and a half inches so that's perfect. You may have to adjust your bead pattern depending on the sizes of beads and how many spacers you have. So then when you get done it's great to use these little bead bugs, but you can also just tie a couple of knots in the end to keep your beads from slipping off. And then go ahead and take your elastic again and repeat the pattern until you have all three strands strung through. I strongly recommend waiting to tie the knots until you have all three strands strung. Otherwise you're going to be dealing with your second and third strands in the round. So it's just easier to do it this way as long as you've secured those ones. Now you can see I've completed stringing the beads and the steps to finishing up this bracelet are quite simple. It's just right over left 
and I'm going to go a right over left twice because that is a surgeon's square knot and what that second wrap does is it holds it in place for you as you make the other part of the knot which is left over right. So we just wrap it through, pull it snug, and then repeat on the other two strands and then when you're done just put a drop of super glue on each knot and then wait for the super glue to dry before you snip the knots. So here's another look at the bracelet we made today. I hope that you've enjoyed this project and that you'll give it a try. Consider using your favorite colors in several shades or a whole rainbow of beads. You can mix up this design in any way you like. Thanks so much for watching Keepsake and Crafts videos. Please be sure to check out my other videos that are up on the screen. Also click like if you like this video and hit subscribe if you don't want to miss another one of my jewelry making tutorials. Please be sure to check out my blog keepsakecrafts.net where I have lots more jewelry making and crafting and sewing ideas and inspiration. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.